What's up guys? You are most likely watching this video on your smartphone, because a mobile device is most often used for browsing content or social media. However, laptops are still necessary for the office or study. Today we will talk about the laptop for the price of an ultra-budget smartphone. You can buy it for only $112 during Black Friday sale on AliExpress. Nevertheless, it has some good features, for example, 13.3-inch display with 2.5K resolution, Intel N4020 processor, 6 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of SSD memory. Honestly, it is the cheapest laptop I have ever seen, so I am very interested in testing it out. Let's start by unboxing it. By the way, I forgot to tell you the name of the laptop, and we can see the brand name on the box, a dreamer, and the model on the sticker on the side of the box, Leo Book 13. As I said before, I have the model with 6 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of SSD. The laptop is also available in version with 8 gigs of RAM and 1 terabyte of SSD. Inside the box is the laptop, charger and a small user manual. Yes, there is not a lot of stuff here, but you don't need anything else to work with the laptop. So one of the main features of the A Dreamer Leo Book 13 is the compact size. Its dimensions are 300 by 2 15 mm. However, I cannot call it an ultra book because it is not very slim, as the body thickness is 20 mm. On the other hand, it is very lightweight, 12, 15 grams. It is very convenient to put the laptop in your backpack or a bag and take it with you to the college or office. Talking about the materials, it feels like the lid is made of metal, because it is rough and a bit cool. However, when I looked a little closer, I found out it was plastic. There is a nice e dreamer logo on the lid. By the way, have you noticed that my laptop is brown? I think it is an unusual color for a laptop. You can also choose it in a gray, blue and red colors. The laptop has DC power, USB and mini HDMI ports on the left side. USB port, headphone jack and TF card slot on the right side. On the bottom of the laptop I see four rubberized feet to prevent it from sliding on the table, two speakers and removable lid. Also, the sticker says never disassemble the computer. Let's unscrew the lid and see what's inside. Here we have a solid state drive. My laptop has a 512 gigs SSD installed, but you can use up to 1 terabyte. Now let's try to open the laptop with one hand. Unfortunately, it is impossible to do this. As usual, the laptop has a screen, keyboard and a touchpad. Let's talk about them one by one. You know, the touchpad is pretty big for a compact laptop. Its dimensions are 105 by 70 mm. Also, I am used to a computer mouse. I have no problem using the touchpad on this laptop. As for the keyboard, it doesn't have a number pad because it is a compact laptop. However, I really like the size of the keycaps. By the way, the keycaps have a flat design and they are close to a high profile. Personally, I am very comfortable typing on this keyboard. Before we get to the screen, you can see the front camera with 2 megapixels resolution. Although the camera is a medium quality, I believe it is a must-have for a laptop, because online meetings are popular both at work and college. Finally, let's talk about the display. First, I am surprised by the narrow bezels around the screen. I think it makes the laptop look modern and stylish. The screen diagonal is 13.3 inches, while its resolution is 2560 by 1600 pixels. However, you can choose a version with Full HD display. If you ask me, you better get a laptop with a higher resolution screen, because it looks awesome. By the way, you should also know that the screen is matte, so you can see it well, even in the open air. However, the maximum brightness is only 300 nits. This is an IPS panel with a 100% sRGB color gamut. The colors are really vibrant and saturated. Overall, the screen of this laptop allows you to comfortably watch any content on it. By the way, if we started talking about watching video content, we need to check the sound quality of the built-in speaker. Even though the laptop has dual speakers, the sound quality is quite poor. I would recommend using wired or wireless headphones to watch videos or listen to music on this laptop. Let me pull.
put my kid down. I really want to test the performance of this laptop, but let me tell you about the battery first. The eDreamer LeoBook 13 is equipped with a 4000 mAh battery. The laptop has a price of a budget smartphone, as well as the battery. The manufacturer promises from 5 to 7 hours of local video playback. However, when I watched 10 minutes of a video on YouTube, the laptop reported that the battery level is 99% and the remaining battery life is 3 hours and 41 minutes. Now we are ready to move on to the performance test. As you understand, the eDreamer LeoBook 13 laptop is not a gaming laptop. It is intended for study and office use. However, we will try to play a few games. The laptop has an Intel Celeron N4020 processor, Intel UHD Graphics 600, 6 gigs of RAM, and 5 12 gigs SSD. I have already shown you an SSD inside the laptop and that you can replace with your own up to 1 terabyte. RAM is also replaceable, but you need to unscrew the laptop case to remove it. You know, I was surprised to see a solid state drive in a $100 laptop. Usually, budget laptops have eMMC memory. Let's check the memory speed. So, the reading speed is 259 megabits per second, and the writing speed is 236 megabits per second. It is slow enough. Perhaps if you use your SSD, it will be faster. Now, let's run some benchmarks to check the performance of the laptop. The eDreamer Leo Book 13 has 362 scores in a single core test and 529 scores in a multi core test of Geekbench 6. The OpenGL score is 658. I also run 3D Mark and PC Mark benchmarks. Unfortunately, the laptop has very low results in all benchmarks. So I already understand that the 8 Reamer LeoBook 13 is not a gaming laptop, but let's try to play a few games. As you can see, there are big problems with Asphalt 9, so we will not even run heavier games. However, you can play some simpler games, such as Roblox, Hill Climb Racing and Microsoft Treasure Hunt. So after testing the performance, we concluded that the 8 Reamer Leo Book 13 is an Office laptop. It even has Office prints installed with Outlook, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and some other apps. However, these are cloud-based applications, so you need a Wi-Fi connection. The eDreamer Leo Book 13 supports 2.4G Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.2. The new 8 Rimmer laptop interested me with its price, only $100. You know, I think the performance of this laptop is in line with the price. The main advantage of the 8 Rimmer Leo Book 13 is a screen with 2.5K resolution. It is really clear. The compact size and lightweight allows you to carry this laptop everywhere with you. In my opinion, it is a good budget laptop for study. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon!